So previously we've talked about how to add together vectors mathematically by breaking each individual vector up into its x and y components using sine and cosine, then adding together all the x components and separately the y components in order to get the components of our resultant vector. And using those components we can solve for both the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector. But there's another way to add vectors together which doesn't involve any math. And that is what's called the tip to tail method of vector addition. So imagine we could take this vector right here and cut it and then paste it right over here. So that the tip of one vector was touching the tail of the next vector. In that case, the distance from the beginning of our vector train to the very end of our vector train would be the resultant vector. But the obvious issue for you at home is how do you take this vector sitting right here and transpose it or copy and paste it over here? And the answer is actually pretty simple. All you need is one of these, a compass. You see, if we take our compass and we set it to the length of one of our vectors here, say in this case our little 4 Newton vector, I'm going to take my compass and put it at the tip of the opposite vector and just draw an arc. Then I'm going to do the same thing with our other vector. Take my compass, make it the same length as my 3 Newton vector. I'm going to put it at the tip of my other vector and again, draw an arc. I'm going to make this one a little darker so I'm sure you see it. Now this point right here, where these two arcs intersect, is the position where the tip of this vector right here would lay if I could cut it off the page and paste it over here. And a resultant vector is represented by the distance and direction from where we started our vector train to where it ends. And if done correct, you'll see that the horizontal and vertical components of our resultant vector, which we drew from the tip to tail method, matches the horizontal and vertical components which we solved for mathematically. I hope you found this useful, and on that note, that's all for now.